ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for all we have to hear about when it comes to New York Rangers property. And I'm going to say property, not player, because we kind of already know the circumstances where in which he is no longer a player on the team, but just a guy under the label of being owned by the Rangers. Let's talk about Tony D'Angelo today, because it appears that for all intents and purposes, he is pretty much done at the NHL level. And furthermore, turns out things might be even extending deeper to the AHL level. So, things went a little bit south a few weeks ago when we had the overall story come out with Tony D'Angelo fighting it out with Alexander Georgiev because he kind of made a rash comment towards the guy, they fisticuffs did a little bit, and eventually that served itself as the last straw, quote-unquote, as to what led the New York Rangers to going down this path where they felt that Tony D'Angelo was no longer required on their hockey team. We had the rumors coming out saying they wanted to trade this guy and all that. We'll circle back to those rumors as we get further into this video. But today's update is from Frank Saravelli on TSN. He reports that since there are no takers for Tony D'Angelo, D'Angelo himself has let it be known to the Rangers that he would be interested in a loan to any AHL team. The Rangers are interested in facilitating that, but they need another team to step in. Because for the Hartford Wolfpack, he's not welcome there. Now this is a pretty significant update, because it tells us a few things. First off, no, it does not appear that there are teams out there that actually want to trade for D'Angelo with the intention of using him as a member of their main NHL team. This is huge because, remember a month ago when we had Darren Dreger on Insider Trading and he said this, I'm told, according to a source, D'Angelo could be moved within the next few days. This was back in like February 1st when he said that. We know he's been told to go home and away to trade. There's a ton of interest all of a sudden in D'Angelo. That was also at the beginning of February. If I recall, I think the agent also said something about how there were teams that lined up and that really wanted to acquire D'Angelo for their hockey team. And we made a few videos as well talking about how the Red Wings, the Ducks, the Kings, or the Flames, these were teams that were reportedly, according to sources, asking around about D'Angelo. And so now we're a month past those comments. And it's coming out from Frank Saravelli saying that there's no team that wants this guy. Now, I will say, maybe that does have to do with the contract, because Tony D'Angelo is indeed not a super cheap NHL player. I mean, we all kind of know what happened in the story of his career. He was really good a few years ago. He signed a contract extension that takes him until 2022 with a $4.8 million AAV. That's a pretty significant amount, especially in today's climate of the flat cap and all that. So, no teams out there or apparently wanted to trade for this guy, which is really big because it contradicts everything we heard from Darren Dreger and the media as a whole a month ago when they said that, yeah, teams would be lining up for D'Angelo. It just makes it seem even more that D'Angelo's overall reputation amongst his hockey team, and I'm not talking about the political views, I'm not talking about the social media posts, I'm talking about the pinpoint personality of a guy that he is in that locker room. It's just not tolerated around the league because nobody's going to go out there and say, yeah, we want this kind of guy, you know, a guy who chirps at his own goaltender and starts a fist fight with him because they were involved in a weird overtime goal that ends up being the game winner. Something like that, you know? And of course, the entire history of D'Angelo as a guy on the ice before has come into question as well. We noted back when he was in the OHL, he called somebody a racial slur, and no, it wasn't an opponent, it was his own teammate. So there are indeed some issues that we have been speaking about when it comes to D'Angelo's personality as a hockey player in general, but it appears that at an NHL standpoint, the talent he had last year where he was at 50 points and all that, it may not be good enough to justify giving a guy like this a chance at the NHL level. And in fact, from this tweet over here from Frank Saravelli's comment, it's actually really interesting because apparently doesn't really seem like there are any AHL teams interested either. He would be interested in a loan to an AHL team. The Rangers are interested in facilitating it, but they need another team to step in because Hartford, the Hartford Wolfpack, the Rangers AHL affiliate, doesn't want him. 
That's huge, too, because not only is it the top guys, the NHL, the number one league in the world, that's saying, no, sorry, we don't want to trade for this guy. It's the underneath league as well, the AHL. No team giving out their spots for the taking over here for Tony D'Angelo. And from this, I think it's really easy to conclude the idea that Tony D'Angelo might have just played his last few games here in North America. I would not be surprised if any time in the next 12 months, Tony D'Angelo finds himself in a position where he's either suiting up for a team in Russia because he's in the KHL or he's over there in Switzerland. I don't really know if the SHL or the Liga would actually allow this kind of guy either. Just because Scandinavia has their own kind of way of doing things, I would be kind of surprised if D'Angelo gets kicked out of the NHL and goes over to someplace like the SHL, for example. But all the cards are aligning, man. I really think they are, because if an AHL team comes out there and they say, okay, well, this guy, who is a legitimately good NHL player when he's at his best, he's a 50-point defenseman, he's a power play quarterback, he's this, he's that, he's talented. If it's to a point where he is seen as such a personality in the locker room that no NHL team wants this guy in their repertoire then you would be shooting yourself in the foot by putting this guy on your AHL squad and allowing him to mesh with your younger talent. When you're talking about the overall, you know, vibes, the fluidity of a locker room, things get a lot more delicate, I guess, when you go down to the AHL level because you have your prospects over there. You have, for some teams, your CHL caliber guys. Some AHL teams have WHL, OHL players. And so it would make perfect sense that at this time, there are no teams that are exposing Tony D'Angelo to their AHL locker rooms because, hey, we have a really good young developing prospects over here. We don't want this kind of guy to be in that locker room. So I would not be surprised if something happens with Tony D'Angelo in the next few months here. It's just really strange to see, firstly, the huge contradiction in insider information where Darren Drager said, yeah, teams are going to be lining up for this guy. Look at this. I don't expect a trade to be taken too long here. Yeah, well, it's been a month, bro. And now teams don't want him. Frank Saravelli, Darren Drager's own colleague on the Insider Trading Show, is coming out with this bomb of a piece right here saying that, yeah, doesn't really look all too great in the NHL for D'Angelo anymore, and the AHL is kind of looking fishy as well. So talk to me in the comments what you think about this whole situation here, the rise and fall of Tony D'Angelo, how he went from a guy that some people were even saying should have been a Norris contender last year. I believe he did actually get a Norris vote. That was something that I do think clogged up my NHL feed for a little bit, but this was a guy who was legitimately really good last year. He had a poor start to this season, had a fight with the goaltender, and now he is on his way out. And it's funny because we've gotten through this whole video without once even highlighting all the stuff he has said online, the fake burner Twitter account, and his overall big, grandiose persona that a lot of people on NHL social media kind of know him for having. We've only stuck to the actual in the locker room stuff, and it appears that from all that, his time might be done. So, yeah, talk to me in the comments what you think, eh? Pretty interesting commentary here. Who would have thunk it as well? I remember watching D'Angelo back when he was drafted in 2014 and thinking if this guy can get it together, he could legitimately be a really good NHL defenseman. And he was, seriously. 50 points last year, you can't get better than that as a young guy, but seriously... These kinds of issues over here, off-ice issues, locker room personality, personnel issues, certainly are pretty big as well. So talk to me in the comments what you thought about this D'Angelo stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. So that is Rolls of the I-9, and bye. <laughs>